Hey guys and gals, in this video I'm going to be showing you my passion project, sc2bovo.com. It's a tool I made for StarCraft 2 players to get better at the game faster by visualizing the strategy guys that they use. Before we get into that, this is a JavaScript project and it's all open source, so there will be a link in the description to my GitHub in case you want to follow along with the current version of the code. Let me just start by saying, StarCraft 2 is amazing. It's a real-time strategy game that's been out for over 11 years now, and it still has people playing it, so obviously there's some merit to this game. It's an intense mixture of strategy and precision, and it just makes for a really enjoyable experience for me. So, over the 11 years that this game has been out, people have optimized strategies. Let's say you want to build a golden fleet the fastest way possible. Well, there's a thing called a build order for that. So build orders are basically strategy guides for how to do something the fastest. Do you want to raise a big air army? Do you want to raise a big ground army? Build orders show you how to do that. The only issue with build orders is that they look like this. So imagine you're being punched in the face, someone's trying to throw you over their shoulder, and you're supposed to read, okay, at two minutes and 14 seconds, I need to build a refinery. That just doesn't work for me. So I went looking for a tool that would help visualize part of the builds, that way it was a little easier to read while being punched in the face by your opponent. The only issue is, I couldn't find a tool that did that. That's why I made Bovo. SC2Bovo.com, or StarCraft 2 Build Order Visualizer Online, is the tool I made to solve the problem I was having. So let's look at this. You have a traditional build order, like on the left here, and it shows, at 46 supply, at 4 minutes and 15 seconds, build 2 marines. So you have just line after line of instructions you need to do, and it's kind of difficult to read like I said earlier. So on the right here, we have an example of what Bovo can do for you. We visualize the actions column, or this third column here, so that it's a little bit easier for your eyes to pick up and read while you're in combat. So now let's run through part of an example of how you would use this tool. So I navigated to the Bovo tab of my website, and on the left of my screen, I have a example build order that we can use, and on the right I'll show you how to use Bovo to build it. So we start by selecting our faction or our race, and this is a Terran build on the left, so I'll click the Terran icon here. Likewise, if this was a Zerg build, I'd select Zerg, and likewise for Protoss. But going back to Terran, we can see that our first instruction says at 14 supply, at 16 seconds, we need to build a supply depot. So if I click on this little icon and this action selector at the bottom, it will go to the currently selected row up here and copy that image. So likewise, I can say at 15 supply, at 40 seconds, I need to build a barracks, and now I can click a barracks from this action selector at the bottom. And I would keep doing this on and on until my build order was done. Now, I won't bore you with going through all of these steps, but you get the idea. This tool has allowed me to visualize the actions column by selecting the action from this bottom menu. So that was the what and why of Bovo, but now for the how. How did I go about building this project out? And my goal was twofold. One, build an easily distributable tool that allows users to add graphics to their build orders, and two, do so in little time. This is a passion project, so obviously I can't spend months and months on this, but I still wanted to reach my initial goal. So that's what led me to move forward with an MVP, or a minimal viable product. So I wanted to build as small of an application as possible that would still reach my initial goal. With that part out of the way, I started looking at the different languages or tools I could use to build this out. Because I wanted this to be easily distributable, I ended up going with some type of web language. So I looked at different stacks. I started looking at Venom, Mern, I started looking at Lamp, but all of these things were just overkill for the project I was doing. So I ended up going with just plain JavaScript. And actually, the only dependency for this project was Bootstrap, and that's just for a responsive front end, that way you can view it on bigger or smaller monitors. So the reason I went with such a simple approach and a simple stack is because dependencies are just not something I like very much. They were definitely unnecessary for such a simple task. They add barriers to any possible contribution that someone would want to do in the future to this project, and also the security benefits to having as few vectors for possible cyber attacks as possible. Now that we've selected the tooling for this project, we need to start looking at how we're gonna use those tools to solve the problems we have. So the main two features that we need to build out are one, we need to change whatever images show up in the action selector based on what the user inputs. So for each race, they have their own structures, units, upgrades, and miscellaneous. 
So here, if I have Terran selected like I do, I can click Units and I'll see Terran Units. But likewise, if I have Zerg selected, when I press Units, I need to see Zerg Units, not Terran Units. So whatever is populated in the Action Selector here is dependent on what race is selected and then what action category they select after that. The second task is to dynamically copy an image from the action selector into the active selected row. So here I'll select the second row and I'll click the first upgrade. And now you can see whatever image I click on is now present in the active row. And now if I select a different row and let's go to units, I can add a battle cruiser to my third row. So with those two things together and a few other simple features like deleting rows or inserting rows below, those are all the features we need for this MVP. So like I said, this is a minimal viable product, but it's definitely not where I'd like this project to stop. I have some ideas for future plans for things such as creating user accounts to allow users to save and store builds to their own account. Uh, I want to make builds shareable via a link. That way it's very easy for users to collaborate and share what they've built. And lastly, I'd like to build an exporting tool to allow users to create a PDF from the build that they made in my tool. But that's it for Bovo. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.